Law enforcement officials say there has been an alarming rise in so-called swatting incidents. They're fake emergency calls meant to draw a SWAT team to someone's home. And Gabe Gutierrez reports increasingly they're targeting high-profile public officials. It was something Congressman Brandon Williams never expected on Christmas Day. It is a surprise when it happens to you. It's very personal. It's very violating. He says someone had called 911 to falsely report violence at his home. Police recognized his address and called to alert him while they were on their way. But the harassment was terrifying for his family. I wanted to get my family into a place where they would be safe. I brought everybody into the kitchen and you know, I just explained what was happening, drop everything. Swatting, as it's known, is when someone makes a false emergency call, often alleging violence at a victim's home, so that heavily armed law enforcement, such as a SWAT team, respond. It's happening more often to prominent and even not so prominent public officials. Among them, special counsel Jack Smith, who filed criminal charges against former President Trump, accusing him of plotting to overturn the 2020 election. Also, Judge Tanya Chutkin, who's overseeing the case. Maine Secretary of State Shanna Bellows, who barred Mr. Trump from the state's ballot, also swatted. So was Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Florida Senator Rick Scott, and Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. A trend that has the Justice Department on high alert. A deeply disturbing spike in threats against those who serve the public. The FBI has launched a national database to track these incidents and says that swatters use what's known as spoofing mechanisms to hide their identity and their location. As for Congressman Williams of New York, he believes he was targeted because of his pro-Israel views. No arrests so far. The sheriff investigating the case stresses the calls are more than pranks. They're illegal and can be dangerous and lead to violent encounters with police who might believe they're responding to a threat. People that are doing this are trying to create chaos. They're trying to intimidate uh, the individuals who are the, the subject of these false reports. And it's, uh, it's very unfortunate. Some states, including Virginia and Ohio, have increased penalties for swatting. Other states are considering it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.